Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts Designs. I'm coming by today to follow up on the series I started on metallics using, so far we've used mica powders and that's where I'm going to start today. Um, these are the Pearlex mica powders. And I've got some, this happens to be the Primary Elements brand. And it's a clear glazing medium or an acrylic medium. Either one will work. These are raw polymer clay. I squirted a bit of the acrylic medium on my glass. And, and started with the silver. I mixed the acrylic medium with a little bit of the silver. A little bit of the acrylic medium with the silver and painted one silver off camera did this it turned out way darker than I expected it to so I just went ahead and continued on and I mixed the gold which mixed with the silver so this is a combo of the gold and the silver and then I did the copper so this is a copper of the gold, the silver, and the copper. So let's bake these and see what we can find out. In the meantime, I'll start on three more and I'll go through my acrylic paints and we'll make a decision on that. Okay, now I've got... These are all DecoArt products and mainly... Mainly, that's what I use. I know that lots of um, craft acrylic paints are used on polymer clay. I've used these for literally years. I've used them for 10 years plus. So, I know they're compatible. This happens to be the Extreme Sheen Deco Art Silver. I may actually have the dazzling metallic silver but if I do the labels gone so I'm not sure that's what it is that being said silver in the acrylic paint is a really really hard it's just really hard to um, accomplish so this is the worn penny in the dazzling metallics and this is the champagne gold. Just happens to be my favorite. So I do have others. All right, clean my paintbrush. And once again, I'm gonna start with the silver. Give it a good shake. And because it's just such a small amount, I'll just get it out of the lid, which is a no-no, but I do it all the time anyway. Now, at first, as you can see, I just really kind of glop it on. Just want to cover the whole thing. Okay. Then, you can worry about the brush strokes and just getting the whole thing covered now like I said I've done I've done quite a few things to these faces so getting on in all the nooks and crannies it's a little difficult these, it looks like, are going to require a second coat. Try 
try to erase as many brush strokes as you can. Alright, that's the silver. Now you can already see it's much, much lighter or more silver looking <clears throat> than the Prolex powder was when we mixed it with the acrylic medium. This is what it looked like just brushing it on. Now I realize with a fingertip it, it could have been a little bit different but I didn't do that on purpose. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Clean our brush again. Now, this is the champagne gold. While not the one that looks the most gold, gold-ish, or however you want to say that, it is the one that is the most dried up, isn't it? Alright, let's try that again. I'm really going to wind up with it all over me before this is over. Alright. Once again with the lid. Alright. Like I will say, I didn't choose this color because it was the closest to gold. I chose it because it's the sparkliest. I just really love the color of this one in particular and I can tell already that it did not mix up well okay let's try this again now I did wipe a uh, pat it off Well, it's sticking quite a bit better, but it's still going to need a second coat. Which is alright, because I guess the silver will too, so. Alright. with the copper this is the worn penny and I chose this because I do have the one that's called bright copper or something but this one is a little bit darker I'm not sure if that's the right word <laughs> I swear I'm really not a weenie but boy I Okay, <laughs> finally got it open. Now this one will probably cover, if not in one coat, it'll only need a touch up in the second coat.
Okay. Now, let's see. Has it been long enough to recoat the gold yet? Possibly just have chosen the wrong color gold. But we'll see. Well, it may still need a third coat, but... <laughs> okay, here is the silver, champagne gold, and copper. I'm not really happy with the champagne gold. But after it dries and gets another coat, it may help. Alright, so we'll set these aside to bake with the other set. I'm going to bake these 275 for an hour, and I do have two oven thermometers in my oven. Just self-checking each other to make sure that the temperature stays correct. Okay. Okay, when I said about the DecoArts paints that they're compatible with the clay, what I should have said is they're compatible with Primo clay. A lot of the brands, depending on the brand of clay and the brand of acrylic paint, you can get lots of incompatibility issues and etc. Like I know Fimo no Fimo and another brand I'm not sure of the brand but I know that they don't react as well with water so some acrylic paints that have more water or more fluidity will cause a problem but these deco art paints are perfectly fine with Primo. Okay, now for the last three, I'm going to just for the giggles of it, so to speak, I've got some of the Vivid Ultra Metallic. This is the acrylic medium and the gloss. Gloss enamel. I don't know what that means, but anyway. I'm hoping it means that it's got a gloss to it. So, I've got the Illumilot metallic powder. And this is the silver. Yeah. Oh, 
way too much paint. Okay, the difference between these two was this one I used the primary elements glazing medium or something and this was the vivid ultra metallics acrylic medium but it's the gloss enamel I'm not sure if that makes a difference but this was the Pearl X now admittedly these were a little bit of a mix of the metallic colors but the difference in the finish I think is the takeaway here so this one is the acrylic paint Pearl X powder I just don't know the difference purpose clear glaze medium okay this one says it's a brilliant semi-gloss acrylic glaze with extended open time all right and it does say create your own paint right there the one thing I could say is it really dulls down um, the metallic sheen off of uh, just a regular mica powder. Now I didn't use the primary elements on this because I didn't think that would be something that just everybody would have. Now, the difference in the primary elements just to a regular mica powder is that the primary elements does have a pigment-based color and the mica powder. So, if you add water to the mica powder, It really just provides a medium for the mica powder to spread around okay if you add water to the primary elements it, it's almost like a watercolor it will activate <laughs> there's a good word it will activate the color in the mica powder let's put it that way so there's the big difference in the two i'll try to do another video covering the primary elements <laughs> okay so i'm gonna bake all three of these 275 for an hour i'll be back Okay, here they are, all out of the oven. These are the Pearl X that we mixed with the glazing medium. These are the acrylic paint, the DecoArt Dazzling Metallics. And these are the Illumilite Metallic Powders. 
with the acrylic medium glazing medium acrylic medium now these stayed slightly sticky the silver more than the other two but the others are fine I did um, try burnishing them with the spoon with so-so mm -hmm, results the Pearl X powder I didn't really think was doing anything until I hit the silver one and right down the nose I could really see that it made a difference now remember this is the one that has a kind of matte finish so now that it's set a couple of minutes in hindsight it really really did help because before I did it they were really flat all right the this is the dazzling metallic acrylic paint and it, I can't really tell if it helped because they are really shining anyway but maybe it might have smoothed out that silver just a little bit because remember it did have quite a few drag marks through it now this is the one that i said stayed a little sticky so it does remain to be seen as to whether it is actually compatible which i can't believe i never tried before Hmm. But again, this is the gold, which really, really didn't translate very well. But then again, I didn't, I didn't use any gesso or anything on the piece first, so it's straight over the brown polymer clay. And I guarantee you, it would have had better results if I had done it over gesso. All right. And you can see the silver paint has a much shinier finish than this does. Again, the acrylic medium evidently dulls down that shine quite a bit. The copper one turned out best and is least sticky of all three. But now that I said that, I actually may have watered down the acrylic medium on this one. So that may actually be why it's less sticky. And even the gold is slightly less sticky than the silver, which I did mix up uh, the thickest of the three. So, to recap, this video, Prolex powders with the primary elements glazing medium, acrylic paint, the Deco Art Dazzling Metallics, which they're just perfect and the primary elements acrylic medium oh, I'm sorry the vivid ultra metallics acrylic medium <laughs> with the Illumilite metallic powders now Granted, I know it's not going to be something that everybody has. But I know we all have different 
um, supplies in our cupboard, so to speak. So, um, hopefully this will cover, at least for some of you. Now, in the next video, in the next video I'm going to try the alcohol ink mixatives. Um, Swelligant. And I'm sure something else, but it's not coming to my mind right now. So, stay tuned for next time. And hopefully, um, in a future coming up video, I'm going to antique all of these to show you um, how much or how little antiquing helps. If you got any good information out of this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Note, um, I am participating in the Polymer Clay Virtual Workshop for 2020. My first time ever. So, um, there will be a link below for that, as well as my social media links, and possibly anything else. I've got an Amazon shop, I've got to get a little kickback from, I've got an Etsy shop, Facebook page, Facebook group, Instagram, you name it. Bye for now. <laughs>